A controversial law for the cannabis industry passed last year and made a number of changes when it comes to high potency THC products like concentrates. Our Colette Bordelon is breaking down a few of the changes that can be seen at both medical and recreational dispensaries. It was one of the first medical licenses in the state. There's flour, edibles, and concentrates inside Denver Kush Club. Everyone kind of metabolizes marijuana and THC differently, so it's going to affect everyone differently. And now these pamphlets come with every purchase. Most of the stuff that's in this pamphlet, I can honestly say none of the questions are coming from customers. Rashad Parks, the general manager, says it's just one piece of a massive state law passed last year. I do feel like it's unfair for the people who are using concentrates because they're using something that was provided by the state that they said was legal and now they're trying to dial back on how much you can purchase. Another part of the law, medical cannabis patients are limited to eight grams of concentrate a day versus the previous 40 gram limit. That aligns with what recreational customers can buy each day. All of licensees that operate in the industry must uh, track all inventory across the, throughout the state. The Marijuana Enforcement Division says another change only applies to patients between the ages of 18 and 20. They now have a daily two gram concentrate limit. Where there is an opportunity for a patient in consultation with their physician to determine whether um, they fall within a scenario that should warrant um, an exception. But Autumn Brooks, who has fibromyalgia. Concentrates in and of itself are a staple for patients. Says her needs are being framed too closely to the recreational side. During a flare, I could use possibly five to eight grams in a day. And this has killed that. Like I just don't feel like we're moving forward with these laws. It's kind of taken a step back. Now they're waiting on the findings from a council created by the bill who will study the effects of high potency products on a developing brain and mental health. In Denver, Colette Bordelon, Denver 7.